Hello, in this video you are going to learn how to play Havana, so make sure that your ukulele is tuned. Make sure that your chord hand nails are short, don't hurt yourself, but make sure that you're short so you can curve those fingers and let's get started. By the way, if you would like to see easy tutorials, song tutorials like this one and unboxings, subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's get started. Our first chord is G minor. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure that your fingers are nice and curved. If your fingers are flat, you're going to like mute. We don't want that. So make sure they're nice and curved. Make your hand look like a C. Now look up here, look up here, look up here. Don't look at your hand, look up here. Slide only the middle finger down. G minor, E flat. G minor, E flat. So we're gonna go from G minor to E flat. Okay, watch me do it first. How cool is that? Now do it with me. One, two, G minor, go. E flat. Do it again, G minor, E flat. One, two, ready, go. And the last chord. Yeah, we're at the last chord already. <laughs> the last chord is D chord. So I like playing D chord um, with three fingers. If these three don't fit because they're bigger for you, you can try these three. The pinky being smaller does give you an advantage. So those go on the second fret and just make sure you pivot your hand. If your hand is over here, they're not going to fit and they're going to kind of crawl to the third fret. So angle it in, pivot, and it should fit. So watch me do that chord progression first and then we'll do it together. Again. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. As your teacher, I want you to sound really good. So put your ukulele down for a second. I, we're gonna do a little clapping exercise. I know this is totally weird, but trust me, it will work. The rhythm or the speed at which you change the chords makes the song. So when I hear the song, I hear that third chord comes a little faster. So we're gonna have to do that with our ukulele when we switch chords. So clap it with me. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four, and. So it's one, two, three, four, and. Again, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and. Okay, that means that when you switch to D, you should make that distinction. G minor, E flat, D. And that just means you anticipate it a little bit. G minor, E flat, D. So do you know that part where she goes, I'm a terrible singer, but you know that part, right? So you can do that on your ukulele. How cute is that, right? So all I'm doing is I'm going on E string, third fret, from three to one, two, three. Try just those. One more time, ready, go. And for the high note, go to your A string, fifth fret. It helps if you have the fret markers on the side, just follow the fret marker. If not, then you can take a peek or count. So that one is five, three, one, three, zero. It might help if you have the fingers already. So do you see that? Like I'm not like bouncing around having flying fingers because that can be really unstable. I just have them ready and you lift up. Much neater, right, than like doing this or sliding. If you slide, you're gonna get that wah, wah, wah. Listen. Not very neat. So try to use different fingers for this. 
So let's try that part. One, two, ready, go. Again, go. One more time. Every once in a while, I like to kind of make the song my own. So something that I changed about it is this next finger picking pattern. But if you don't want to see that, if you want to skip to the strumming, um, click on this time in the video. As I play this song, I feel like the chords sound really good when they're picked. So this is something I liked kind of messing around with. Alrighty, ukuleles and gentlemen, so I'm on G minor and then rest each finger on a string. We won't need G, we won't need the thumb, okay? All I'm doing, G minor, is going down and halfway back up on each one. Because this song has the same three chords throughout the entire thing, I would recommend that you make a combination of finger style and adding the little lick and changing the strumming pattern to keep it interesting. But of course, you know, it's, your, it's you playing it, so you get to make it your own. Okay, if you are here, you are ready to learn the strumming pattern. So um, let me do it first and then we will do it together. I'll break it down. I'm just going to stay on G minor to keep keep things simple, no need in complicating things, right? Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. Let's say that you can't do a chuck, then do down, up, palm, up. Go to the next chord, E flat, do the same thing. Down, up, chuck, up, or the palm. Down, up, palm, up. So try with those two chords. One, two, ready, go. Okay, again, ready, go. On that up, we're switching to D. Okay, so G minor, D e flat, D. If you can't do the chuck, let me demonstrate it with the palm. By the way, YouTube has like a little settings icon either on this side or on that side that lets you slow down the video. So if at any point during the tutorial you wish like, oh, she should just go slower, then you can use that. Or if you think, oh, she just went faster, you can use that to speed it up as well. Alrighty, my friends, let's take it from the intro. Play it in the style that you want to play it. Okay, one, two, one, two, slowly. Two, three, four. Two, three.
can use that finger pick, uh, finger picking pattern during that um, section. It's actually really lovely. One thing I wanted to add, by the way, kudos to Ariel. If you haven't seen her cover, it is like super duper duper famous. She plays it slightly different. So if you wanted to play Ariel's version, she does G minor, C minor, which is a bar on the third fret, just three strings. And that has that pretty high note, right? And then D or D7 sometimes. She kind of plays around with D and D7 switching them. So hers is like this. Or she kind of messes around with that. So if you want to do it the aerial way, that's those are the chords for that. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to see more like it, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Sayonara! <laughs>